Hi, everyone. It's Trisha Carr. Welcome to phase 16 of 29 Days of Lunar Phase and this mini episode of Charmed Life. I have been having a blast with you all, and we are in the height of this experience now. Yesterday, in the last episode, we talked about the 1111 portal, and this energy of the 1111 portal actually lasts a few days. As this is recorded and published, it will be released on the 1111 portal, the day of, so that's November 11th. And this one in 2019, proximate to the full moon, is still in the full moon energy actually because we have the phase of the full moon being about three, three and a half, even about four days. And with that with the Mercury retrograde, all of this was mentioned in the channeling message, the channeled message yesterday as I recall. Those energies have been with me, even though I don't <laughs> recall exactly what was channeled yesterday. Uh, the download that I received has been sort of unfolding and mapping to my own conscious mind. And what is really relevant is the great excitement around seeing the manifestation. This is something that we always feel, absolutely, but with the energies right now all stacked on top of one another, and with this full moon being in Taurus, which is sort of a counterbalancing to the inner energy of Scorpio, Taurus being one that can really pay attention to that outer essence, then we are kind of redoubling on all of this inner feeling wanting to be experienced without. And of course, we know that believing is seeing. Moreover, they say being is seeing beyond believing. It is just being the frequency. And this is something that is so challenging for us humans because we are so clever at being non-present. And so you are really deeply being invited to be present at this time. I am deeply being invited to be present at this time. And so some of the symptoms of this portal, may you experience it yesterday, today, or in the next even couple of days, you may be having some challenged sleep or you may be sleeping extra hard it's there's really no wrong or right way or typical way that it may happen but I am told that sleep is and is something that is deeply impacted around this time and so setting the intention to work with the lunar energies and work with the portal energies that are available during your sleep and allowing it to unfold as it will now if you are waking up with anxiety. If you are waking up with anxiety or worry or discomfort or negative feelings of some kind, then know that this is, like we said a few days ago, a good sign. These are the feelings that are leaving. These are the habits and thinking and the energies that are exiting your field. You may have a discussion with yourself, talk to yourself about how you recognize and appreciate and witness that these are feelings that are leaving and then come into the energy of one. Just speak to yourself or visualize or feel whatever is your way that you connect with being able to, your represent, representational system as we say in NLP, then give yourself that conversation. Give yourself that transitional process. By being able to have this discussion with yourself, to give yourself this healing, then you are actually integrating. You see, it seems like we're splitting ourselves into two perspectives or even two beings if we communicate with ourself about what's going on. But in truth, holding that awareness, even if we are having a discussion with ourself, our higher mind or our lower mind, whatever perspective that we're taking, we're actually taking that higher perspective. We're taking the seer position and we are integrating by acknowledging all of these seeming parts of ourselves. And we are integrating into the completion of the one energy. We are integrating away from the separation thought, the illusion matrix, and we are including it into the whole, the whole of the universe by actually, we're actually using, we're kind of hacking the system. So if we are in fear or anxiety, then we speak to the fear or anxiety with love. It's a way to hack the thing that is giving us trouble. And then we bring ourselves into a whole essence, a whole being. Now with this 1111 energy, again, this is a portal that is activated for a few days. 
what this energy is doing is helping to trigger and helping to catalyze that which is always available to us our ability to ascend and our ability to use our ascension energies and draw upon the crystalline grid of the earth, the crystalline energies that we are, the manifestation energies, and to see them outpictured, to bring these this combustion into one essence so that it is the form of creation. This is available to us all, but we feel a heightened sense of it. We feel a powerful kind of calling around this time. And the 1111 being that common call that we experience in awakening. I've been seeing 1111 like crazy the last three days and it, it's just telling of that. And, and that in particular, less so any of the other numbers because the 1111 is the energy that is calling us right now. 1111 is four ones. The one energy is the energy of the self. It is also the energy of the one energy. So it is the one energy is the energy of source energy and source being complete in only one aspect. But it is also the individuated part of source. So you, me, a tree, a cat, the individuation of source as well. So in a way, the one holds duality in addition to singularity. The energy of 11 calls us both into two single ones and also two, the number two and the energy of the number two. The energy of the number two is similar to that energy of one in that it is about duality. The energy of number two is about love. The energy of number two is affirming that you are God's ability to love or you are source energy's ability to have creation. Were it not for you, then there would be no universe. This is what the energy of two is. And when two, when much like when you speak to your lower mind, two is recognizing that two is a single number, even though it represents two parts, it is still a single energy. 11 and then 11, meaning four singles, four ones. And these four ones are representative of the one energy, the two energy, and the four energy. The four energy is Mother Earth energy. It is the four elements of physical form, four magical elements. And overseeing these four elements are four cardinal archangels. We have Michael, the archangel overseeing fire and the direction of south. And so at this time, we are going to call these archangels for your highest good, for my highest good, for the highest good of all, to call upon this portal energy that is available to us now. And with Archangel Michael, we call upon the fire, the fire that runs through our nervous system, the fire that is inside the earth's core, the fire of the central sun. We call upon the energy of the, of the fire element and of the Archangel Michael, Michael reminding us that there is only one energy, that when God created, when source energy sought to experience itself, Michael was, the first energy was, and Michael is the reflection of source energy and source so are we, so are you. And this element of fire reminds us that we have all of the will, the passion, we have the creativity that we need in every single moment. Everything that you need is within you. And the activity that you take upon it, that you, the actions that you make upon it are always aligned when you align with that passion of the heart. Michael is called upon at this time, and Michael oversees that element of fire, reminding us that we are one with the energy of creation, that we are the energy of creation. As the created one, we are also a creator, because the creator imbued the created one with its own energy to be a creator. And now we call upon Raphael, the archangel known as Raphael, the healing angel, the one who oversees the element of air and the direction of east. Raphael reminding us that all is well in highest truth. This is the action of healing, is to call into existence the reality, or to align with the parallel reality of all is well, and to be able to be aligned with that parallel reality that we are calling in every single moment. Raphael reminds us that we are time travelers, that we are creators of time, that time is subject to us. Raphael reminds us that we can move through our expression, we can move with our feeling nature 
in into any area as air can be in any nook and in any cranny and we can be anywhere that we need in this universe and we can call in anything that we need because there in the element of air there is nothing that is separated and every place that we go every relationship that we have be it a casual temporary relationship passing one another on the street or if it is an, a significant relationship that anything that might be considered karma here is just a part of the journey Every single one of these relationships can be karmic in that higher sense that as you pass by someone or as you have a profound lifelong relationship, anything in between, you're actually calling in a parallel reality of being whole one with the other. And so calling upon the energy of Archangel Raphael, we recognize and we align with all is whole. And now we call upon the Archangel Gabriel, the Archangel of the moon, the Archangel of the element of water the archangel who oversees the direction of west. We call upon Archangel Gabriel to facilitate our communication, to facilitate our vibration, reminding us that we flow one with another, that we are together in this experience by our divine will. And as we align with the divine will, we flow easily, effortlessly, and that there is no effort Actions are and inactions are a part of the game that we play in this experience. We allow Archangel Gabriel to rain down upon us the divine feminine energy of the moon to be reflections of one another and to see ourselves in one another because this is the truth. To see in our physical reality the outpicturing of ourselves and to choose to affirm that which is good in our reality now. We call upon Archangel Gabriel and we ask for you to rain down love, purity, clarity in this moment. And we call upon you, thanking you and having appreciation for your ever abidance. And we call upon Archangel Uriel, the Archangel overseeing the element Earth and overseeing the direction of North. We thank you, Archangel Uriel, for reminding us that we are the Earth. We are composed of all four elements and the element of earth. And that from this perspective that we align with the great alchemizer, with the great transformer energy of Archangel Uriel, that we are able to stand in the greater energy of the fifth element of Aether, the element of the Akash, the fabric of absolutely everything, the recording crystalline grid of the earth and of the Akashic records of all. We thank you for this experience of the story being told through ourselves, through our bodies, through our minds, through our emotional experiences. We align with the affirmative nature, the positive nature that is in absolutely everything that we see in this physical experience. We are grateful to be in the physical experience. We are grateful to be held by the earth in faith and in grace and in love. And so we thank you, Archangel Uriel, for allowing us to alchemize every element that we are into the greater good for ourselves and for the all. And allowing these four angels, these four elements, and our fifth perspective of the one energy of Aether, of the Akash, of the crystalline grid, and empowerment of these codes, and allowing this catalyzation of this 1111 portal to continue to open us up, to activate us to turn on the keys of our soul blueprint. We welcome this and we affirm that it is. And we stand in a blissful, peaceful now, allowing ourselves to be excited and activated and now allowing it to culminate in deep presence and peace and taking a divine breath together. We call this activation in effect. Thank you for collaborating with me on this, another episode of this 29 days of Lunar Phase and a reminder to have your intentional sleep tonight. And we will meet in dreams and we will co-create. Thank you for tuning in. I love you, whoever you are.